A female ranger with blonde hair speaks. Hi, I'm Ranger Katie, wishing you all a happy Women's History Month from Gateway Arch National Park. Did you know Missouri's first female member of Congress played a significant role in the building of the arch? Close up of street sign. If you ever take a stroll down along the St. Louis Riverfront, you might notice Leonor K. Sullivan Boulevard. But who was Leonor K. Sullivan? Old photo of polling place. Born in 1902, Leonor grew up with a father that always brought her along to the voting polls, but only as a spectator. Marching suffragette. Unfortunately, for most of her childhood, women could not vote. But on the week of her 18th birthday, the 19th Amendment was ratified, making it possible for Leonore to vote. Sullivan at podium. She later made history as the first woman elected to Congress from Missouri. During her time in Congress, Sullivan was a champion for consumer protections, but she also played a significant role in appropriating the government funds for the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, what is today known as the Gateway Arch National Park. Her role did not come easily, however, Leonore's congressional experience began as the administrative assistant to her husband, Congressman John B. Sullivan. He passed away unexpectedly, leaving his seat open. Leonore K. Sullivan wanted to run, but was turned down as the idea of a woman running for Congress and winning in Missouri did not seem likely. The chosen candidate lost his election, and in the next election, Leonor ran as Mrs. John B. Sullivan. Painting of Sullivan. She defeated six other candidates in the primary and later won the general election, serving 12 terms. Next time you visit the museum, take a moment and read more about Leonor K. Sullivan's role in building the arch. Sullivan and others standing atop the arch.